Hello everybody, welcome back to my 100% walkthrough for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And on this video we are going to be completing the main mission, New Man in Town, and we're also going to be doing the virtual training free run uh, mission, uh, uh, or trophy, and we're going to be getting gold on the race tutorial. So, starts off by us going to try and find Machiavelli now. If you remember we were told to meet Machiavelli somewhere. But we got distracted by the man and his poor dead wife, who we had to go and uh, sort out. Um, Il Carnificio, or whatever his name was. Anyway, we're now moving on and we're going to go and see Machiavelli. Here we go. Ezio, what a surprise to see you here. I thought you had sent for me. Never. News of the villa attack has spread across the city. We were certain that you were dead. Not yet. I am still very much alive. The Borgia must not discover that you escaped them. So, new man in town, accompany Machiavelli through Rome, encountering dangers along the way. And a full synchronization is we need to throw the Borgia captain into the scaffold. Well, take care not to draw any undue attention. When do I ever? So we just walk with Machiavelli. He does start talking eventually, but he's not he's not he's not quickly. You would be wise to purchase missing equipment. You will not live long in Roma without supplies. I have my blade. And the guards have their guns, courtesy of the Borgia. Fortunately, I can help. Grazie. While you are in my debt, perhaps you will listen to reason. As soon as I hear some, I will let you know. Okay, so we have to buy something from here, but let's read about the blacksmiths first. There you go. And while we're having this little interlude, they'll go to the database. And read about those things that we missed a minute ago. So the Mausoleo di Augusto. carry on with our mission so the first thing we have to do is we have to go here to the blacksmith and we have to buy the stiletto from 300 florins and we also have to buy the armor that's available which is the Roman spalders Okay, so it gives us a little bit more, couple more um, squares, I believe. Now you can survive the journey back to Firenze. Perhaps, but I'm not going to Firenze. Oh. There will be no peace until we rise up against the entire Borgia family and the Templars who serve them. I do not recall such brave talk at Monteregione. How could I have known that they would find me so quickly, that they would kill Mario? Rodrigo surrounds himself with snakes and birds. Even his daughter Lucrezia has been sharpened into one of his most artful weapons. But she pales in comparison to the man behind the villa attack. He is ambitious, ruthless, and cruel beyond imagining. The laws of men mean nothing. He murdered his own brother to take power. He knows neither danger nor fatigue. Those who do not fall by his sword clamor to join his ranks. 
The powerful Orsini and Colonna families have been brought to kneel at his feet, and the King of France stands at his side. Give me his name. Cesare, head of the papal armies. What does he intend to do with his power? What drives the man? That I still do not know. But Ezio, Cesare has set his sights on all of Italia, and at this rate he will have it. Is that admiration I hear in your voice? He knows how to exercise his will. A rare virtue in the world today. I am through with this three of There was nothing left for me here. So there's a little introduction to who Cesare is. Cesare Borgia. Travel by horse? Roma is quite large. As Cesare's conquests in Romagna continue to succeed and the Borgia grow in power, they have taken desirable areas of the city for themselves. We cannot use the stables here. Oh, the will of the Borgia is law now? What are you implying, Ezio? Do not play dumb with me, Machiavelli. Do you have some kind of plan? I am improvising. Okay, so we see this is the first of the Borgia towers and the Borgia captains. And there are lots of them just around the game, but this is the first one. And it's more of a tutorial than anything. So we're going to come over here. And he's behind these guards, so we're going to kill these guards. Well, they're going to kill, fight me first. Okay, now be careful you don't kill this guy by accident, because you mustn't kill him for 100% sync to make place until you've sorted out these guards now grab him oh and no uh, it's not always easy to aim try again pick him up grab him walk him back towards the scaffolding aim and push and that's him dead and we might as well loot these guards because unlike where we were left Assassin's Creed 2, we do need money. Okay, so we're just robbing these guards now. That's what we're doing. And then you head back to Machiavelli after you've killed him. Just because you kill a few guards does not mean the people will grant access to the stables. You are right. We need to send a signal. Wait here. So after you have killed a Borgia, a Borgia captain, you need to light the Borgia towers. And again, this is the first one. It's easy because there's ladders. Some of the others you have to climb. But this one's easy. So I climb up these ladders on the Borgia Tower. And also, once they become freed like this, they become Assassin Towers, I believe. Seems the stable is now available for purchase. After you. And so that is the end of that mission. We have done what we needed to do. Get 250 florins for the trouble. 100% sync, full synchronization completed, new man in town. So, we'll, um, we're, but that isn't going to be where we're going to end this video. We're going to do one more thing before we finish, and that is we are going to go to the virtual training. And here we are. And we're going to go to free run. And we're going to go to this race tutorial. Okay. So. 
as we load this mission in. So to do this in for gold, you need to do it in 45 seconds, and it's tight, but you can do it. The hardest bit is the about the third thing I think we have to do. So you run up this wall and you eject back onto the bar, flick yourself up, run up this wall and side jump onto these blocks, run past, jump, free run across these blocks, but then take your foot off the, your finger off the X so as you can just drop down, which you need to do. When you get to here you're going to tap the X while running and you'll land in this archway, cross the beam, climb up the top of this bit, climb these blocks, move across, then you've got to throw yourself uh, to there and catch again. That's the tough one. And then you've got to let yourself drop and catch again there. Then drop yourself down. And then climb up here and, and you're done. As I say, the hardest bit is that bit in the middle where you have to jump under that arch. That can be difficult. So there we have it. I did it in 43 seconds. That's gold medal for race tutorial. Which means we're done. So now we just head back to the main screen. Head back to the main screen, and that's where we're going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching, and request Captain Patch.